I would like to express my sympathy and warmest regards to the people of Hawaii, and specifically all of those who have been so gravely and irreparably hurt by the tragedy of the wildfires in Maui, something the likes of which have seldom been seen anywhere at any time. The death caused by this catastrophic event will be far worse than ever expected now that houses and cars and other areas are being inspected. The sad thing is it should never have happened. Our government was not prepared. And very importantly, the aftermath is going very poorly with the governor of the island wanting to do nothing but blame it on global warming and other things that just happened to pop into his head. Yeah, he blamed it on global warming. As if global warming has anything to do with it. <laughs> when asked about it today, as he was getting into a car, perhaps coming home from the beach, where he has been spending a great deal of time. The other way he said how the governor of Hawaii wants to do nothing about it and how the president's coming home from the beach. My thing is, why is he up here talking? Like, you are not even a like politician right now. Why do you have, like, he's funny to me. Comedy. Yeah, he goes when he's probably coming from the beach. <laughs> Help me understand, why is Donald Trump speaking as if he is the president right now? I, I don't know. And look, look what they got entitled. Look, statement from President Donald Trump on devastating Maui wildfires. President Donald Trump, not <laughs> former president. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you can't make this shit up. Uh, was... <laughs> uh, let me let him play. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Crooked Joe Biden, the most incompetent president <laughs> in the history of our country. The beach. This shit is too fucking comedy. This is why people don't like him. This is why people like the woke mob. This is why they don't like him. You know what I mean? Somebody should take away his Twitter account. Perhaps coming home from the beach where he has been spending a great deal of time. Crooked Joe Biden, the most incompetent president in the history of our country, with a laugh and a smile said he had no comment on the death and the tragedy. To say no comment is oftentimes fine, but to be smiling when you say it, absolutely horrible and unacceptable. It is a Disgraceful thing that Joe Biden refuses to help or comment on the tragedy in Maui, just as he refused to help or comment on the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, for a very, very long time. In any event, hopefully everyone will be able to pull together so that a horrible situation does not get even worse. To the families affected, I give you my love and sympathy. Nothing can ever replace your loved ones. I love you all very much. So I don't know. It, it could be a stage little thing that him and his crew just set up. I mean, the guy is a billionaire, so. <laughs> yeah, so like, why does he have the American flags behind him like he's in the Oval Office? As a uh, former president, what I don't like is how he, you don't have to tear down someone else to do the right thing. That's, that's the problem. It's like, you got to think there's a whole bunch of people who love Biden, who love like, democratic whatever he could have literally just said you know i'm i'm saddened that we didn't hear more from our president but i'm here to support blah 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 that would have been enough to let people know like hey he's not doing what he's supposed to do but to be like oh the beach and crooked this and that i know people are democrats and if they hear something like that from trump they're gonna be like see this is how republicans are he's sitting there bad mouth him he doesn't know what's going on with his life oh at the beach he wasn't at the beach you know what i mean it's just you're egging on people to distance yourself from you that may be on the fence of saying maybe we should give him another try or maybe we should have considered him more he sound like tupac up there i'm telling y'all he sound like an old version of Pac. putting too much on it but Things like he feels it and he doesn't sugarcoat it to make people happy. And that I respect. Trump don't give a fuck about the poor white guy, too. The fuck? Like, the fuck? What the fuck you thought this was? You know what I mean? <laughs> and I just think his words, like the way he say shit, it just be, you know, he just be going against the grain. Like, yeah. Pox shit to me. That's why I say like, it's, it's like the pox shit, going against the grain, saying, you know what I mean? Saying thought provoking shit. Not giving mm -hmm. a fuck how people perceive it. You know what I mean? He's just yeah, a white. Down the you know, instead of a black panther, he's a white panther. No, I'll play. I'll play. No. 
<laughs> I just think he's a very honest person. He has a very New York like personality. I mean, but I mean, I'm not saying one is better than the other, right? I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just saying choose your poison. And if you have to choose your poison and to speak on the president, you know, when you have another president who's falling asleep on the fucking podium, and you have another president who's not really giving a fuck about what how people perceive him, you know what I mean? So it's like, well, choose your evil, you know, because one is fucking you more than the other. You know, you just got to choose the evil, you know, what lesser evil you have to do it. And that's the yeah. crazy part, you know what I mean? Like this Hawaii thing has been like a big thing and it hasn't gotten a lot of news or coverage. And it was on CNN, wasn't it? Yeah, but it ain't crazy. Like it ain't crazy. Like, like the Mike, you know, the Freddie Gray or like the motherfucking Valley Fires or some shit. You know what I mean? It's it's not even done on a higher level. Like I'm talking about media wise. So that's yeah. when I be saying like stuff where I'm like, hmm, you know, it just makes me like, hmm, raise my eyebrow. He's not a political person like that, but he doesn't deliver things right. the right way in the way that most people would like to receive it. Right. Uh, he says, I respect him because you know what you're going to get. Biden is a liar and politic a politic period <laughs> Today he's a puppet yeah, he's a puppet yes yes trump is not, yeah that's the thing that they didn't like trump wasn't a puppet he wasn't sitting there listening to nancy pelosi he was cussing nancy pelosi ass out up in them rooms <laughs> she was hot oh you goddamn trump get your ass out of here you little racist prick he's like nancy, i don't remember that look look nancy how many black babies have you murdered okay you shut up <laughs> <laughs> 